Hey everyone, it is Christy, and let's just have a little bit of a chat. <laughs> First, I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers. Wow, um, my subscription rate has gone up, or sort of my subscriptions have gone up by uh, 300 people in the last sort of six weeks. So welcome to everybody who's joined. I hope you have had a chance to go through some of the back catalog and found some of the other series and information that is on this channel. I've put a lot of work into and hopefully it stands the test of time. So enjoy all that and welcome. As for those of you who are regulars to the channel, you will probably have noticed that I've been putting out a lot of content lately, and I'm going to try to slow that down. So I should just say, for those of you who are new, who just kind of wanted to get the, like, hello from Christy, that's, hi, welcome, and now I'm just going to kind of have a bit of a chat, I think, because there are a lot of times when I talk to you guys and I have all of my notes set and ready to go and I'm trying to keep it to a time period, and that's fine, uh, but it's certainly not relaxed and conversational. So I thought I would do a, a little bit more of a relaxed version for this, because I just want to talk a little bit about what's been going on in the channel, and my reactions to it, and where I think I want to go now as, as a result. So I have to need to make sure that I actually do all those things. So yes, uh, what has been uh, happening on the channel? Well, uh, I've started a new content stream. I guess that's maybe the way of thinking about it rather than shows, because I don't know that everything that I'm going to do is going to turn into a long-standing show. There's a new content stream that I'm doing where I'm analyzing the U.S. presidential race, but focusing in on the Republicans. I'm already planning another video based on the analysis of spending that's been coming out from the campaigns over the last few days. And I also decided to make a video talking about descriptive statistics, where I just went through some data and described what the data were saying. And that produced an enormous response um, from a lot of people. So in terms of the political content, I can't promise that I'm going to have something to say on a weekly basis just because I have a full-time job. And it's a lot of work to put together all of the raw data and then thematize it and organize it. But I will probably have something out on pretty close to a weekly basis. And I know YouTube rewards you for being, I think, routine in when you put content up. But the thing about politics is that it's very timely. So if I'm putting it up, I'm probably gonna put it up sort of randomly rather than on a schedule. So what I would suggest is if you do swing by YouTube and you come by my channel, check my playlists. I've reorganized them now into different themes. And you can always check to see if there's new content that you've missed because I brought it out on a Sunday like this and you didn't know about it. On to the discussion of, of feminism. Right. A little history and then I think I'll talk about where I want to take things in the future. There was a really interesting talk, I mentioned it in Get Smarter, that was that happened between Steve Shives and King Crocoduck on, if I want to sum it up, epistemology and feminism within the, within the atheist community and sort of how people perceive it in this sort of I think, sector of the world in particular. And I thought it would be a good contribution because I am a social scientist and I have worked with and taught students basic descriptive statistics and inferential statistics and how to interpret those and write them up for an audience of non-statisticians so that you can convert those numbers into meaningful things to people who aren't nerds. So I thought it would be helpful to just demonstrate descriptively that patriarchy is a thing. When we look at the definition of patriarchy for a culture and it talks about men dominating positions and then we look at the U.S. Senate and House. Since we ratified, you know, the Constitution, was it 1789, that from 1789 until 1917, it was exclusively a male political body. And then after 1917, there were like one and two women who bubbled along until the 19 sort of 60s and 70s. And then women have managed to get 20% of 100% of the seats. The point of the video was to just do some basic descriptive statistics. And a common error, 
I should say, that people made were, was to run from descriptive statistics to making shit up is the only thing I can call it. Sorry, I just called there, but I took that out because you don't have to listen to that. They will make up excuses without any basis in data, in studies. They'll go, oh, well, why, maybe it's just that. Well, maybe it's just that isn't evidence. It's your bullshit opinion. And that was why at the front of the next video, I put up the statement by Hitchens. That which can be asserted without evidence can be dismissed without evidence. And for those individuals who think themselves as rigorous empiricists, who are committed to basing their opinions about the world in observable facts about the world, you can't just make shit up like that. In addition to the other content that I need to keep up with, I also want to continue to make videos that just describe the reality of patriarchy in America, in Europe, in the Middle East, in Africa, in economics, in politics, in religion, in the media, in finance, in medicine, everywhere. Because it really seems that people, there are some people who don't, who aren't convinced that there are, that this is an issue. And the only thing I can do to convince people who claim to be empiricists is to demonstrate it with data. And I can't just do it on politics and then move to causality because clearly the denial is too profound for that. So the first set of videos is going to be focused on descriptive statistics, just demonstrating patterns in the data, showing how they work in different ways in the different levels and the different intensities, and just getting a survey of what the world looks like in terms of who holds power based on sex. I will also be doing videos on a philosophy that accompany it, although I won't do them at the same time, I don't think, because they're sort of separate bits. And in those bits of philosophy, I'm going to be defending the fact that the social sciences are science. I know that also seems to be a controversial statement in some quarters, but I will be able to demonstrate it quite clearly. So I'm going to look at that and some more issues of ontology and the way that we can evaluate the social world in ways that we cannot evaluate the material world. And when all of that is done, then I will move on to inferential statistics and causality because um, anything before that point would be premature. And so here's how those videos in terms of my channel are going to work. Even when I'm doing patriarchy videos, I'm going to leave the comments and the likes on. And if those of you who've not seen the patriarchy video, the first one that I did, you'll see that I've got like a thousand thumbs down. I don't give a shit about thumbs down. I really don't. I, it doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't humiliate me. It basically just, it's sort of an asshole measure, to be honest, because if you look at the pattern of likes on my channel, if you compare the patriarchy video that was linked by an individual who sent people over to harass me, and then you look at the next one, which was not linked, um, by a particular user to send people to that video, you'll see that the up-down scale is basically it, it's in, in favor of the content. So I don't really care about turning off the likes. I, I don't take any validation from how many people like my video. I'm also going to leave the comments section open, and I have moderated debate boards before in the past, and I generally tend to be very hands-off when it comes to people squabbling. If there is back and forth and you're calling each other idiots and it's all just sort of verbal sparring and stomping of feet or whatever else, fine, that's gonna happen. But I will not tolerate sexual or violent harassment on this channel. If I see you making a violent, if I see you making a rape comment to somebody, like somebody wrote to me that they wished I was raped, you will be blocked. If you are in participating in a conversation with someone and they bring up violent or, or sexually harassing comments to you, then let me know and I will block them. The comments will stay open, but I'm not going to tolerate abuse. So that is the line on that. Next, if you are a sub of mine and you don't mind getting into the comment section on the more controversial videos, then I would have some advice, not that you have to follow it, but just in terms of what I think for the patriarchy videos, in terms of how I'm presenting them. What is something that you can do from your side to kind of coordinate our messages? Here's what I would say. Focus on getting your interlocutor or your opponent to substantiate claims with evidence. 
there is a lot of terrible, sloppy, awful thinking that comes in the comments on the patriarchy videos from people who don't know what they're talking about and they make up things as excuses as to why power distribution is unfair and unequal. When they make those claims, ask them to demonstrate it. When they say, oh, Popper doesn't think that the social sciences are science, ask them to demonstrate it. Here's a little phrase that I applied myself. Nobody cares what you think, only what you can demonstrate. And I apply that to my patriarchy videos. I think it's a minimal amount that we can then expect from the people who comment on it. So it's another version of that which can be asserted without evidence, can be dismissed without evidence. I don't care about your opinion. Give me the evidence, give me the facts, and let me look at the conclusions. Let me look at the study. The other thing I would advise is test people to see whether or not they've actually watched the video. A lot of the people who came over um, on that day when my video was linked, they were 90% male, they were overwhelmingly from the US and the UK, and they voted down the video at a rate of like 90% or 93%. They also then had an average view time of under two minutes, like about a minute and change. Um, if they come there and just start shitting all over the comment section and they haven't watched the video, call them out on it. <laughs> if you can't even be bothered to watch the content that you're then making up lies about and characterizing, you just deserve to be laughed at. And I would hope that people who get busted for making up what I said in the video without actually watching the video are laughed out of the comment section. So that would be my, my suggestion. All right, guys, that's, that's going to be it. Um, I'm going to get going, get editing, get these videos out. And just once again, thanks for all of the new subscribers who've joined the channel. Thanks for all of the long-term subscribers who have been sticking around and are still watching you guys. You guys are awesome. So we'll chat, I'm sure, soon because I have more content coming <laughs> all the time. Bye.